Hi, I'm Nick Valenti with Flyler International, and I'm here to showcase you our new powertrain. This truck has our new S13 engine in it, and this is the only OEM to ever have come out with a clean sheet engine build since SCR emissions were first introduced 16 years ago in 2010. As you can tell, this is our LT model, which stands for line haul transport. That's more of our over the road spec truck. However, they can be spec just like this, no aerodynamics, kind of more of a vocational style with tall 24s, things like that. However, we do have several other models and the S13 powertrain is available in vocational models, the HV, which is heavy vocational and the HX, which is heavy extreme, the big brother to the HV. In those HV and HX models for snowplow, mixer style chassis, stuff like that, with the T14 transmission, there is FEPTO and REPTO applications available, which is front engine PTO and rear engine PTO mounting options. With the combination of this S13 and T14 14 speed proprietary transmission that International has developed, it is the lightest powertrain in its class. One thing that's really helped achieve that is using CGI or compacted graphite iron heads and a block. As you can tell, this truck is pretty quiet. Standing right beside it, it's running, and the engine fan's actually going right now. So when that cuts off, it'll be even quieter. Let's talk about the transmission. The T14 is a 14 speed overdrive transmission. That is the first proprietary transmission International has had to offer in the North American market. This came from our friends across the pond, Volkswagen, who is now wholly owned uh, international trucks as of about a year and a half ago. So this transmission is a 14 speed, like I said, but it has up to six reverse gears that can come into play when using any type of vocational application, road construction, things like that in a dump truck configuration. I want to talk about the transmission engagement of the clutch just a little bit. So. The T14 uses an electronic clutch actuator, which nobody else is doing on the market. So what that means is it's a little bit crisper, it's a little bit quicker than pneumatically controlled clutches, which is what Eaton products use. This is a pull style clutch instead of a push style. Eaton uses a push and the pull is a little bit more crisp. I'd like to grab your attention over here on the passenger side of the truck and notice that there is not a huge EGR oil cooler over here and that is a uh, pretty paramount that hasn't been done and uh, since SCR emissions were uh, introduced and basically what that means is there is less cost the engines lighter because you don't have a heavy EGR cooler off the side and you don't have any active regions so what that means in a nutshell is on an EGR cooler based engine it's recycling exhaust gases. So whenever you put your foot on the pedal, you've got about 80% of that power going to the drivetrain and about 20% is being recycled. So with a system like this, where there is no cooler, that is not being recycled while your foot is on the pedal. So 100% is going to your powertrain and there is far less parasitic loss, which equals greater fuel efficiency and a, and a better way to manage that. However, this does have an EGR, there's just no cooler, but the EGR is only used in three ways. Cold starts, long downhill coasting, or extended idle periods. So if your foot is on the gas pedal, the EGR is not functioning. So like I said, everything is going straight to the drivetrain. The next thing I wanna talk about is the turbo. This is not a VGT turbo. There is no actuator on it. It is a fixed vein turbo. That is again, cheaper cost to maintain, less failure rates. And it's just a more reliable system of what diesels of old used to use. So there is two DEF dosers in the after treatment system of this unit, which is different than most everything out there. Everything else only has one doser. There's one just past the turbo on the hot side there. And there's one also in the after treatment over here. However, 
yes, it does consume just a touch bit more def than maybe outgoing power plants, but it's about two gallons more per thousand miles. So it's not a, it's not a large increase, but the big trade-off with that is there is no DOC in this after treatment. There's no diesel oxidation catalyst. So there's no seventh injector spraying diesel fuel inside the after treatment. So it's another reason why the fuel efficiency is higher on this. On the DPF side, this is designed to be a replace operation. There is no baking clean. And if you're getting greater than 8.2 miles per gallon, the first service interval for this DPF for replacing it is 650,000 miles. Going back to the fuel consumption of this engine, I'd like to compare it to the Cummins X15. So at, at idle hours, the X15 is gonna burn about nine tenths of one gallon of diesel at idle. This truck is gonna do about half that. We have real world numbers of trucks just like this that I've sold in a 515 horsepower configuration, 1850 torque, um, aggressive rear axle ratio, grossing over 80, uh, pull, pulling fuel tankers, and they're consistently getting about 7.3 to 7.5 miles per gallon. And from what he tells me, that customer is getting about 20% better than his Packard product. So the next thing I wanna talk about is a new feature called maneuvering mode. And if you look right here, there's a uh, picture of a turtle. That's what we call maneuvering mode. So in normal mode, when I release my foot off the brake, the truck is going to go ahead and start creeping forward and, and automatically start off. So we come back to a stop. We'll hit the old turtle here. Shows that maneuvering mode is on in the dash. If I let my foot off the brake, the truck does not go anywhere. Now I can barely touch this gas. And I mean, it's like it doesn't even have a clutch. I mean, we're just creeping. And the reason that this is used for unhooking and hooking trailers, backing up to docks, stuff like that, where you're, you really don't have to jar the truck, trailer, your back, everything. And everything is just such a smooth transition that, it, I mean, you can just barely touch the gas and it takes off. Like this transmission has a converter in it, but it doesn't. So now I want to showcase the engine brake. This has a 470 horsepower in stage three, which is class leading. And this thing, it's strong. Throw you into that windshield if you ain't careful. So again, I'm Nick over here at Plyler International here in Longview, Texas. Come see me, 3016 Southeastman Road. Come test drive our new S13 powertrain and our LT. Or come see all the other products we've got. We've got an international CV here, crew cab, four wheel drive, crane, anything else you could want. This sucker's got a remote start, heated seats, everything, driving in style. We got a blue HX here, AT speed manual, big Cummins. That thing's got heated and cooled seats. Or you need a box truck, 28 foot long, brand new MV. We got everything, come see me.